Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Finn, and this is my big sister Nancy. Welcome to Home Fun for Kids, Episode Four. Home Fun for Kids is a fun and exciting science show for students who are in love with experiments, just like us. Home Fun for Kids will be broadcast every Sunday at 2 p.m. on Facebook fan page. Save the day because we have a lot of fun to do together. Nancy, until now, we have received almost 500 assignments which are sent from the students all over the country. We are so thankful for your love and support. We hope that you guys enjoy the show and the knowledge as well as the fun we bring. How are you guys? If you submit your assignment, don't forget it, okay? Because we've got plenty of presents waiting for you. And if you miss any episodes of Home Fun for Kids, you can still watch again on our Facebook fan page, YouTube channel, or ITO. So far, we've done many exciting experiments, such as volcano model, shooting stars, or rainbow bubbles. Any ideas what we gotta do today? Mm. Next week, our school has a talent show. All students have to participate. But I don't know what to do, Nancy. You know, I love science and that's what I'm good at. I would like to do it on stage. A science performance? You want to perform science on stage? Yes, my talent is science and science is fun. Science plus fun, why not? Mmm, I see. You're lucky because I have a great idea. Really? What is it, Nancy? I will show you a simple magic trick based on science called the magic bag. Magic bag? Easy to do, but still lots of fun. Yeah! You're my hero, Nancy! Uh, before we start, Please follow our safety guidelines. First, you need to wash your hands properly before and after doing this. Second, get help from your parents. Next, be careful with the sharp things like knives or scissors. Then, do not eat, drink anything, and never put anything in your eyes or into your mouth. Clean up when you finish and finally, Use personal protective equipment needed, such as hat, gloves, glasses. To create a magic bag, first you need a plastic bag, or you can even use a Ziploc bag. You can find them easily at the market or from the grocery store. I can see a pencil sharpener, a plastic cup, some rubber bands, pencils, and finally water. Step one, we have a pot of water here. And then we take a plastic bag and fill the bag with water by using the plastic cup. Be careful, don't let the water splash around. Your parents won't be pleased. Okay, what we gonna do next, Nancy? Okay, next, we gonna use a rubber band to tie the water back tightly. Like this. If you have a zip lock bag, you don't have to use the rubber band. You just close it. And what will we do with the pencil, Nancy? Okay, with the pencil, we're gonna use pencil sharpener to sharpen all the pencils. Remember, all the pencils must be extremely sharp or the trick will fail. And that's it. We are done with the preparation. That's simple. 
Mm -hmm. Sometimes less is more. Remember it, Tim. Okay, big sister. Okay, let me show you how to do the magic trick. First, you hold the water back above the water pot. In case that you do it wrong, the water won't splash around. Okay, I see. Okay, with one hand holding the back water like this, and another hand using the pencil, quickly you peel it or through the back of water. You ready? Wow! Let me do it again. Wow! It goes through, but the water does not come out. Unbelievable! How can the water stay in? That is because plastic bags are made of polymers. Polymers are flexible and have the shape of a chain. When you pop a sharp pencil through a bag, the pencil will cut in between the polymers and then polymers will hug around the pencil. That's why it doesn't let the water out. And also, do you know that there are many types of polymers? They have the form of proteins, plastics and many more. You will learn about it in the future. Unbelievable, Nancy! However, when you do it wrong, it won't work. The water will leak out. There are three reasons for that. Do you know, Finn? Mm, is it because the pencil isn't sharp enough? That's correct. It's because the pencil isn't sharp enough or you haven't pierced through both holes of the back or the back isn't airtight. Noted! I will practice every day to repair for the talent show. Thank you, Nancy! Hi kids, now let's get ready with the vocabulary revision. Now, listen and repeat after me. Plastic bag Plastic bag Zip lock bag Zip lock bag Pencil sharpener Pencil sharpener Plastic cup Plastic cup Rubber bands Rubber bands Pencil Pencil Water Water Very good! Let's practice more at home Now it's time for quiz and price Listen carefully to the question and answer by comment below what is one of the reasons that won't make the magic happen? A. The plastic bag is too small. B. The plastic bag is airtight. And C. The pencil isn't sharp enough. Các bạn ơi, sau khi hoàn thành sản phẩm theo các bước cùng Finn và chị Nancy, các bạn nhớ thực hiện những bước cuối cùng như sau nhé. Chụp hình sản phẩm hoặc quay lại quá trình thực hiện hoàn chỉnh, gửi về hộp thư sự kiện avongismart.edu.vn Và các em đừng quên ghi chú họ tên, trường lớp và tỉnh để nhận được những phần quà thật hấp dẫn từ iSmart Education nhé. Ok, that is the end of the episode today. We will see you next week. See ya! Hong Kong Kids will be broadcast every Sunday at 2 p.m. on Facebook fan page.